Words. A shield and a weapon. Words both captivate and inspire. Words create and destroy. Words like humans can damage as well as build. Affairs with words, thankful to words for what they've done for me, but I have a hatred for words for what they've done to me. I use words in the same way they use me. Words hurt me. Words transcend from lips to paper. Words make me hurt myself and others. Words, just like sticks and stones, can hurt. But if used correctly, words can manifest dreams, prepare goals, and ignite ambition. My relationship with words, much like any relationship, we've had our ups and downs. There's love and there's hate. There's love and more love. There's honesty and there's deception. Words carry a weight that sometimes I can't lift from my shoulders. Words start wars. Words create peace treaties. Be cautious, be cognizant, but weaponize yourself with words. Use them when you feel lost, scared, or alone. Allow them to empower you, replenish you. Hold words in a high regard. And most of all, acknowledge words for the power that they possess. That piece is called Word Scars. And I wrote that piece very recently after I ended my time in a emotionally and mentally abusive relationship. And um, during that relationship, I endured a lot of word scars, meaning the feelings that my partner at the time had about me, they were projected upon me in ways that they, they scarred me, they hurt me. They, they cut me in a way that I didn't know words could. Because you hear that phrase, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt you. That, that sentiment never resonated with me because words can hurt. A lot of times they hurt sometimes just as much as a punch or as a, as a knife to the chest. Words can be just as, as painful and just as powerful. And I never realized that until I began to use words for myself. I took a lot of the words that were said against me like you're ugly and you're fat and you're unattractive and I created an entire empire because I know how important words really are. So I really like to convey a message to people that words being used against you can also be words that you use to empower you. So my message to everybody is to own every space you enter.